The Burning 790 Sewing Machine is a marvelous machine for machine quilting, for free motion quilting, and using the Burning Stitch Regulator that came with this machine. Now, on occasion, people ask me, well, what if I don't want to use the stitch regulator? And I do ask them, well, why wouldn't you use it? But that's okay. Let's go through the steps. The Burning Stitch Regulator, we have done a video, complete video. We'll put a link right up here you can check out. This is actually a foot that you can use plug in or not plugged in if you choose so. So you could use this foot just as a foot. Just don't tell the machine you're using it and don't plug the little pigtail in. And you can use like that open toe foot, the closed toe foot, or the kind of echo quilting foot here. But another reminder, if you are free motion quilting, that you do have your embroidery foot that came with this machine. So I ran over to my embroidery module box, and if it's brand new, you have a bag of goodies like this, and inside this little white box, don't throw this white box out by the way, this is actually your embroidery foot. So this is foot 26, has a, like a little teardrop shape. This would be the foot that you could free motion quilt with. Now if you do want a visual um, opening right there at your needle. Foot number 24 is the open toe free motion foot, but you've already got two feet with this machine that you could use. So hopefully you'll try one of these, see if that works. Honestly, the Bernina stitch regulator is probably what you want to do. So first off, I am going to tell the machine I am using stitch or foot number 26. I like to use the zero to nine. Type in 26 and pick it from the list there. Okay, so the machine knows that that will be my foot I put on. And I'm also using the straight stitch throat plate that comes with this machine. That is a perfect match. So go in here and tell the machine you are putting that throat plate on. So I'm gonna tell it it's on, even though I'm gonna skip actually putting it on, it'll be okay. My dual feet is engaged, so I am gonna just disengage it and switch feet out. Love, love that. Okay, next, lower the feed dog. So that's just gonna be right down here. There's a button on the side of your machine. Push that all the way in. It's the one closest to where your foot control um, plugs in. If you've pushed it in far enough, this little symbol here turns yellow. That indicates that it's down. Now, I love to quilt all my quilts. It is something I have been doing over the last couple of years. Um, I went from stitching only simple stitching, you know, just that simple little pattern, to actually being able to do my own custom quilting, which you do see in a lot of the blocks that we have in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. Uh, we do teach all these techniques. I do quilt this completely separately. Um, here's even ruler work too. I love that. Um, but there are 10 free videos you can watch below this YouTube video. You can hop over to our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course and learn what it's all about. And if you love decorative stitches like I do, you will be guided on how to make the ultimate stitch book. That's one of the free lessons you can watch. But let's just kind of talk through some of the tips for doing free motion quilts quilting on the Bernina 790. So we were just doing a video on how the built-in stitch number, what was that? It was in the quilting menu, stitch number 1328. That is the hand look quilt stitch. So if you are interested in what that is, I'll put a little link right up here in this top corner. You can hop over there and learn about how we made it look like we were stitching by hand when we really were not. So we are on a straight stitch. Um, does it matter what the stitch length this? Nope, because you are in control because those feed dogs have been lowered. Now the last time I took a stitch, I did use, or I ended this stitch, I used the thread cutter. So my bobbin thread is not there. So I know a lot of machine quilters like to bring that bobbin thread up, but right now that tail isn't even long enough to bring up. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take a few stitches, not right in the same exact hole, but close to each other so I can go ahead and stitch. Now here's the trick. So I am gonna just take and kind of slide that out of the way. There is that cute little bobbin thread. Let me show you how short that is. Oh, he's short. There he is. That's how short it is. So it's really hard to kind of pull up on that first stitch. 
So a couple things, you can adjust the speed of this machine. So it's almost like having a little cruise control. So somewhere in the middle might be a nice range for you. Part of learning free motion quilting is the practice of how fast you sew based on how fast you move your hands. So depending on how your speed is, as you guide your fabric around, will determine on how big those stitches actually are. Now I'm a fan of gloves, which I don't have on right now, but usually if you have your hands and they're a little slippery or you got a much bigger project than what I'm showing you on, that is going to be a helpful hint. Another helpful hint is having your machine in a sewing cabinet. Having your machine completely flush to support your fabric is ideal but you'll love this machine because there's so much space here there's so much light at your needle and honestly that bernina stitch regulator helps so much but like i said sometimes people are more wanting to do it just regular freehand so here's the trick if you sew really fast and you don't move your fabric you get little tiny stitches if you sew slow and move it too fast, you get ginormous stitches. Those don't look good either. So what you're doing is trying to find that happy medium so when you sew, your stitches look nice and consistent. So that is what you're going for as you are working on your quilting. So just, I really wanted you to see how you set up for these different uh, styles of feet your stitch length is how you move your hands, the lowering of the feed dogs, and truly using that straight stitch throat plate. A top stitch needle makes a huge difference as well. And then it's really practicing your particular patterns until you get comfortable and they get nice and smooth. So enjoy doing free motion quilting. Check out those other videos on the Bernina Stitch Regulator, um, even too on the ones that are for our hand look quilt stitch. Those are always fun to see. And if you wanna learn more about free motion quilting, and please take time to check out our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. Again, links are below this YouTube video.